button jeans here from Running Sleep. And I've got an interesting case to show you here. It's of an unfortunate lady who has a lung cancer. However, what I want to show is the way that this, is, this can be partially treated through a bronchoscope, which is a camera within the lung, where we can resect a part of that tumour away to prevent it from blocking the airway completely, because if the airway blocks completely, the lung will collapse. So I'll start by showing the scan and the PET scan, which shows you where the problem is. I'll then show you the bronchoscopy procedure itself so you can see the tumour being cut out of the airway. And in the end, I'll finish with the pathology as to what the tumour is, followed by what sort of treatment will occur next. So hopefully you find this useful and interesting case. So here is the CT part of the PET scan. And I'll just scroll down slowly so you can see. Just here is a large subcarinal mass. And you get the feeling that there's encroachment into the main bronchi here, the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus. I'll just scroll down a little bit further. There you can see just there that there seems to be something blocking that airway. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see this is the right middle lobe which has collapsed. We'll just put the lung windows on and scroll back. You can see here's the collapsed right middle lobe. And if we go back, we can see something endobronchial just sitting here blocking off. And that's of concern because it's almost about to block off the right lower lobe. And there's certainly a large subcarinal mass sitting there. Let's go across to the, the PET images. Here's the PET image. We'll just scroll down through the PET and you can see that there's intensely FDG average subcarinal mass. And as we go down further, there's also a mass there around the opening of the right middle lobe, which is obstructing the right middle lobe, and it's completely obstructed and, and therefore collapsed. The right lower lobe is still patent, though. That hasn't collapsed. So we want to have a look down with the bronchoscope to see if there is something there that we can resect to maintain patency of the right lower lobe. At the same time, we'll get biopsy for a tissue diagnosis. So here's the flexible bronchoscope going through the rigid scope into the trachea and you can see the carina is splayed by tumour in the subcarinal node extending into the lumen of the left and right main bronchus. Go down the right main bronchus there and we'll see the right upper lobe is clear. Here's bronchus intermedius and there's the tumour almost completely obstructing bronchus intermedius. And you can see that my bronchoscope won't be able to get past that tumour obstructing that, so I can't see into the lower lobe. Let's come back into the trachea there. This is the snare that we use. So a snare is a wire loop that will come out the end of the catheter, and I run a heat or electricity through that, which heats up and will cut through the tumour. So here we are back to the tumour. And I'm going to put the snare out and loop around the tumour to be able to cut it. Then I activate the snare and it will use heat energy to cut through the tumour. We're just cutting through it there and there it's been released. So I can now remove the snare. Now I'll use a cryoprobe to freeze to the tumour because that will stick to it and allow me to remove it out through the rigid bronchoscope. So there's the cryoprobe there, that freezes very quickly to it and grabs onto the tumour and then you can see it being removed. Let's go and have a look now, there's the abnormality in the right main bronchus. If we look down into bronchus intermediates there, we can still see tumour blocking off the right middle lobe but the right lower lobe there you can see is completely patent. And so that won't block off now and that will allow airflow to the lower lobe and that will improve this patient's breathing significantly. Let's have a look into the left lung, just to make sure that the left lung is okay. Left upper lobe, left lower lobe is all patent. So there we, see, we can see that a part of that tumour has been resected, and the part that was almost about to block off the right lower lobe has been removed. This is by no means curative, 
But what it will do is it will make this patient feel a lot better because they'll now be able to breathe a lot more comfortably and that tumour will now not block off the lower lobe. The next step in treatment is to use radiation therapy and chemotherapy to treat the rest of the cancer. And the radiation in particular will treat that part of the cancer that we uh, just resected to ensure that the right lower lobe remains patent. If we were to use radiation before removing the tumour, the tumour would have sw swelled a bit and that would have blocked off the right lower lobe. So it's important prior to radiation to resect that bit of the tumour first. The abnormality around the main carina, which was encroaching into the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus, that doesn't need to be treated urgently because it's not going to block off. So chemotherapy and radiation will be used to treat that part of the cancer to prevent that from blocking off the, the central airways. So treatment is with palliative intent to make the patient feel better and hopefully live uh, feeling as well as possible for as long as possible. So I hope you found that useful and interesting video and a way that we are able to treat lung cancer.